stream. I have a really important question. Yeah. Is for unwavering, if you move forward and backward, does that break unwavering or no? It should. Distance changed. Did it? Yeah. It's not the end result. It's when the attack is played. It's if it's changed at all. I think so. God, that ability sucks. <sighs> so what? You ban Kamui if you're long, right? I mean, does does Himika and Shinra really have synergy? Like, I know they have similar ranges, but Shinra doesn't really do much in the way of damage. And, like, the aura damage is very conditional. Like, if it always just did 2 dash aura, then I think the character would be broken. All right, Erlong agrees. Um, yeah, this seems pretty jank, but... <laughs> All right, what did he opt for? All right, that's fine. I mean, I don't think it's horrible. I think it's just slightly better. I do think reactions are really strong, in particular, against Himika. So, that's just my personal... I think, like, playing really defensive against... Like, having a lot of defensive options against Himika, I think, is usually your best bet. I mean, yeah. Phantom Shred's obviously a good card. Imagine really playing like Megami without no reaction cards. Yeah, I mean, there's only one that Himika has. But yeah, I mean, that's why the meta is, like, so powerful. Wait, what? He just swapped the order of his specials? Alright, some interesting tech. I like that. You'll do oh, it all the time. He does it too. You'll do it all the time. What the hell? Especially if they have ones that resurge. Oh, right, I'm gonna start streaming. That was so weird. I've never seen anybody do that. I respect it, though. I definitely have never done that. But, I respect it. So, I think in a vacuum, Erlong's just favored, right? I can't imagine that Shinra and Himika have that much synergy. Um, I think Erlong wins outside of blazing shenanigans, although I did not see, or was very focused on Erlong's deck. I did not really get a good look at Peanut's deck, um, so I don't even know if he brought blazing. I'm assuming he did, because there's not really much else that's good. To bring? I mean, what do you even bring? I mean, I saw some shenanigans. I also saw some replicate shenanigans, which maybe has some potential to steal some games as well. But as I said, I did not get a good look at Peanut's deck, so we'll have to see here. But if there's a player who might drop the ball, it could be Erlong. Ah, no, you know, you don't turn. Well, okay, we're turn one shooting. Uh, that's not usually great. No. To start with. Not you usually. So yeah, because it's really hard to follow up with this because your best follow ups at range eight and that'll cost you the rest of your cards to get there. So usually there's not a punish and in this particular matchup there's definitely not a punish. At least not a punish to get to life. He might be able to like move forward with Magnum, I think. I think Magnum goes to nine. Yeah, right? that's the problem. He needs two cards to move forward. Magnum's five to eight. Is it? Yes. Okay. And then even if yeah, I mean this wow <laughs> what what a proposition. Is there any punish here? <laughs> wow, didn't hit any attacks. What attacks could you hit? I mean, you could make him discard them. I mean, I guess. I mean, if this was a Himika mirror match, then that would be incredibly greedy. Does that go to, that go to played? Okay. What go to played? Replicate? No, it yeah. goes to the discard pile. Replicate goes to the discard pile? Yeah, unless you play the attack. So you could do that to stop something from being perfected. I think that would actually be worse if you hit uh, Grim Edict. Okay, well, I feel like Peanut's already kind of grieved a bit, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure. I haven't seen Peanut play a whole lot. I mean, if they've played outside the server... That like maybe, but Pina has not had a whole lot of success inside the tournaments from what I've seen so far. So neither. There we go. He did it. What's he perfecting? Flower harvest because he has it in his hand still. What? Real? Uh, 
Uh... But why? Why though? Okay, yeah, that's actually a solid take. Fiction. So I just played it and perfected. Yeah, and Erlang er Erlang took the one zero to Aura. I don't or not Erlang Peanut did. I'm so confused by that. Yeah, not really sure. There's Barrage. All right. I mean, that's not horrible for Peanut. He lined himself. I mean, that's a debate. I guess I don't really know. Uh, I don't think there's a reaction here. Wait. Um, let's see. If oh, he yeah. can make reflections, he can't, but he's got only one reflection right now, so yeah, he can't he cancel two... that. Wait, after, but isn't it, um, so he gets a charge It's number of reflections plus one. It's after you charge an aura, though, right? Or... You can, no, 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 you can move between your aura and your flare. Oh, move between your aura and your flare. Yeah. All right, yeah, it goes for the quick reflection. So now making, so now we need to make sure we have a Yatsuha card in our played pile or hand when we reshuffle. Very key point. Probably no, not bloom or not not bloom, harvest or whatever, right? Yeah, flower harvest. The uh, an option. There's plenty of shadow for it now. Wind comes down. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's not a great bring against Himika, is it? I mean, it's not a good spot for Himika. It's for uh, Shinra. <laughs> well, we do know there's one skill, and it's a uh, replicate play pile. Yeah, but I mean, in general, I mean, I, I usually like to play Wind after I have a series of offense coming through. I guess the reason he's playing it is that he has Sunny Stage, which is almost certainly coming down this turn. Oh, he beats out, um, I forget what that card's called. Agitate. Agitate. Agitate's fine, I guess, against Lancing Strike, I guess, in a vacuum. <laughs> Erlong taking a minute to look at this deck. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so yeah, Sunny Stage is for sure coming down, or else I don't think he would have done that. Also, just getting to test the hand, I think is okay. But I don't really think he's going to capitalize off a whole lot of life damage this turn. And so, which card got perfect? Uh, determination. Yep. So he's got conviction. What the fuck does Shin do? Uh, it's the move between aura and flare and cancel. Based on number of reflections plus one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if, damage. if the attack is number of reflections one. Oh, I actually might damage. get life damage. I forgot about Phantom Stride. And Why I don't really like. Again? Huh? What? So maybe it's Sunny Stage, Claw, Determination? No, one of them has to be Determination. I think one of them is Determination and the other one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why he would play Phantom Stride and just play Sunny Stage Pass after that. Yeah, my opinion is I think it's Sunny Stage, Astral Claw, and uh, Determination. So for clarity, I guess, did Erlong? Not bring flower. I think we missed it. I thought he'd bring flower over wind, but now he has. Wind, nah, I don't so. think so. I don't think so. I think he's got migrant. He's going for the the reshuffle. Perfect. Hey, maybe that's what he's going for here. No, he's yeah, but he goes for he sunny stage. He doesn't. What's he holds this? on to determination here. Looks most likely. So I think peanuts just going to go to range two if he plays this correctly. I don't think taking a life damage is worth whatever you might have. Maybe you play Magnum and go to range two? Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Phantom Stride griefing. Yeah, Phantom Stride was a bit uh, weird. All right, but I think it was one of those things where you played it and was already committed to it. He's kind of, I mean, you can I undo draw. Phantom Stride, but. That's the four cards that were played from Peanut. <laughs> Agitate, uh, shoot, um, replicate. Uh, replicate. And, uh... Barrage. Yes. Cool. And Agitate wasn't played. It was winded. Yep. Now he's playing Seal card, right? Oh, no. That's Eloquence. 
eloquence Lord. and if it's and confused, argue. that would be that would be really uh Oh that's actually pretty good argue right now because you just create two cards and force your opponent to reshuffle, which I mean yeah they get to what do you think? I guess they have to perfect Phantom Stride then. Which I don't think is what they want. Unless they have yet to have a card in their hand that's not perfected, but it's possible. It has to be determined. No, yeah, it's fifty fifty if we're doing mathematical. Like he obviously. was holding Flower Harvest when he got uh, replicated earlier, so he might still uh, have gonna, it. Looks like it's going to end up panicking and taking a life damage this way. I think they mismanaged the resources, so now they have to go to range 7. I think he's going to discard to go to range 7. Yeah. What is this grief? Blah. That <laughs> looks terrible. <laughs> so, whiffs the attack, takes a life damage, reshuffles. I think it's going to be stride. I don't think they have it in their hand. Wait, wait, or wait nothing. did he just reshuffle nothing. without... Nothing! Nothing! What? Oh, oh yes. please. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> and I could understand it if... Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Is it May? Out. Is it May? Yes, it's May. All yeah, right. plus, yeah, Phantom Story is almost better when it's not upgraded, so yeah. Is Especially with Tokuyo. Right. Oh, he's going to do it after whoa, all. Whoa, cheat? Doing it. That's shenanigans. All right, it's the legendary draw then perfect tech. <laughs> what a matter. We knew he finished I was in his plate pile, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm surprised the script still works. Eh, yeah, normally against uh, that Tokyo enhancement, you want to advance into range two instead of backing up. Agreed. However many times that is, because also, it's still the power. same amount of basic actions. You spent your two vigor and a card in hand. But now instead of being at full aura, you're at zero aura. Yeah, wind goes to life here. I agree, but I think some players might think that having like an increased range is better with Himika. What is going mean? on here? Okay. Know. And the increased range is really good for the opponent because they can advance and attack instead of having to retreat and attack. You got the life lead already, so it's really good for you to play defensively a bit at that point. Just go to no aura to force Yatsu to go to no aura for reflections and then punish that. Go. Just end up opting to close the gap. Um, probably, I, mean, I don't really think there's a whole lot that Erlon can play this turn. You could move up one more space, you could potentially well, throw out his Eternal Migrant. <laughs> huh. Power harvest now. That's probably going to be perfected next. Maybe uh, wait, if it gets so, broken, though, it goes to a discard pile. So if he takes any life damage from attacks, then it's gone. You need the vigor, goes to the top of the deck, and then he reshuffles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, peanuts in a prop uh, dicey proposition where they either like they're bothering threatening. Eh. If they top deck barrage, it's pretty good. True. Top deck barrage and the power harvest is gone. Woo! Two yeah. sevenths life damage. That's an annoying disruption for Yatsu A1 also, but he's already got a card to perfect at least. Yeah. So if he's playing out his cards, this is very dangerous. Because now he has a big opportunity to take a massive amount of life damage from Erlong. What right is now. what is Eternal Peanuts other Megami? Chinra, Chinra Himika A. A1. A1. Himika A1. No, 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 I mean the top Megami, the pen Megami. Oh, um... Kamui. Yep. Mm. Mm, interesting. That's a, that's a word. That's a word. No, no, I mean, mm, as Tokoyo Shinra Yatsuha, hey, you, you're not really afraid of Kamui, right? Everybody's afraid of Kamui. He gets Astral Claw. Donate mm, lots of flair to Peanut. 
an actual attack instead of two seventh life damage. He also gets the flower harvest next turn if he empties his own aura, which this helps with. I'm sure it's worse than the two seventh life damage because you perfect cards more. I mean, he could always choose to reshuffle or what is he the perfect to. card from? Uh, He's got no, they they perfected them. Phantom Stride and they perfected that Determination. attack cancel singing. I see. Okay. Yeah, I think Peanut's going to start bleeding here quite a bit. As I mentioned this before the match started, I think Peanut's just going to have to trick her along with a special, probably Blazing Sun or. Um, Blazing Sun or um, some agitate, or not agitate, some replicate shenanigans. Wow. Very yeah. cool dodge. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Erlang just really, I think Erlang just has this in the bag as long as they play carefully around Blazing Sun and like replicate. You know, replicates in the hand, so just make sure you don't put yourself in a position where you can take a lot of damage from getting replicated. That's really the only thing Erlong has to worry about in this match. Other than that, just like play clean, keep your aura full. Does he even resources. care if his flower harvest hits here? No. Yeah, probably not. It's just going to the blade pile. I think that's what his main goal was. Flower harvest is unguarded. Man, yeah. Card count, so. What is this? I don't even remember what this does anymore. Choose run. Maybe 5 2 to 1. I think it's the only thing that matters. I think this card's generally better. It's just he loses out on the vigor, so maybe with the coil, the synergy isn't quite as high, but a 2 1 is just. Like... Yeah, it's like it's there's less incentive to swap to it with the coil for sure. Eternal Peter doesn't have a way to cheese out. Last, if you bring Cleansing Strike, Phantom Phantom Strike is better. Yeah. Retreat and then Phantom Torrents for Cleansing back to top deck. Your figure is still too. Agreed. I mean, I was someone who campaigned for getting rid of Phantom Stride, just bringing Song and Dance, and then uh, getting rid of Determination and having uh, Light Return, and just focus on the other Ayata Hakar. Determination is hard, a good reaction card. Is against almost everyone actually. Determination just isn't a good reaction. Uh, I mean the perfected version of determination. Yeah, the perfected version is terrible. Yeah. The perfected version is one of the best reaction in game. Perfected version is terrible. It is no, one of the few exactly. reactions that can just cancel. So. Yeah. As a the problem is, is I, if you look, I mean, you could say everything's terrible about Yatsuha if you look at them in a vacuum, because you kind of have to rely on the way that your opponent does things in the game to make yourself stronger. And, like, in a higher level play, I would say the termination isn't as good if you buy it, especially because it's on your opponent's turn when you would play it, no? Not necessarily. You could play it just to make reactions with the original determination, or not reactions, reflections. Oh, two throughouts. I love Peter. Let's say they played Garage earlier, right? Yeah, they're they're gaming. Cool, he's <laughs> Garage build. Is this the, is this is this Devious? I don't yeah. even remember what Devious does. You get to play a card from their pile. <laughs> what? Oh my and gosh! You got no good choice. Play flower, play flower, so it can be perfected because it's in peanuts. Or uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flower loses. harvest. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, oh, well, he goes for oh, oh, that's sad. Two one attack. That's not griefing. Right? Doesn't Man. that help? You line up reflections better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't take this to life though, because you're reshuffling. Wait. Anyway. Oh, run reshuffle. Focus. That's the reflection, right? Wow. I think Peanut's bleeding game knowledge a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be not Bloom getting, getting perfected. Perfect. Did last oh. time, but I don't know how generous we're being about that. 
<laughs> did it after he drew cards, which was definitely shenanigans. I don't know how forgiving we're going to be. How forgiving are we going to be with take backs in top eight? Don't they need to be played properly? Nobody plays properly. M4. M4. Yeah. How nice are we going to be about take backs in top eight? Don't you need to if the opponent is uh, depend on the tech pack if tech pack already like additional information or anything it's obviously no right how you gonna what about no Erlon, drawing two cards and saying whoops and then perfecting their stride and then putting their cards back and reshuffling and drawing two again <laughs> if your draw is bad you get a free mulligan <laughs> Yeah, if you once you draw, you've gained information, so that would be a no. Uh, are we paying attention? Yeah. Did Erlock take a life damage for reshuffling? Yes. Yes. All right. PS. What happened, by the way? Why? Why that is so much? All right. What is happening? Oh, Are-Lock. is this black? Why? Why his head is one, but sorry. <laughs> oh, maybe Probably they forgot to right. put perfected cards or something. What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, every time there's Erlong playing, there's shenanigans. Is there lethal potential here? 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. <laughs> yeah, there's lethal here. There's lethal potential here. A flat. <laughs> uh, oh. Claw, Migrant, and then uh, Stride. Obviously, that's not Migrant, right? Huh? That must be Immortal Flower, right? No, there's no immortal flower because Erlong is playing migrant to get the reshuffle so he can get an extra perfect quickly. <laughs> no. He moved an extra card to set aside, apparently. There you go. Uh, did you see the deck building face? Yeah, it's a migrant. Why do you not think it's migrant? Really? No. Why? Way, you get right? the extra perfect. That sounds pretty good to me. Is it uh, not? I agree my current is good, but sweets for Pato win to my grand. Yeah, that's you what I can't pay for. And immortal flower. I yeah, agree with that. That's, yeah, that's what I can't paint for before this match started. We already have perpetual flower. That's what I said to Erlang last night actually. <laughs> about perpetual. Night. Yeah. Night. About my grand in immortal flower, but seems he's using perpetual instead. Also, why is my friend and immortal. Finish him! Finish him, Erlock. Get the end this lag. There is no lethal, right? There is no way lethal. Said, there is yet. lethal. There's claw, there's stride, and there's a migrant. That's and lethal. if Erlang mm-hmm. is not careful and forget about the crimson he makes. <laughs> yeah, that's the last game last there. Okay, there's no At lethal. Me. He's discarding a card. <laughs> or there is. <laughs> Isn't decided yet. No, there is no lethal. Reshuffle per. How is there not lethal? Perfect. Right. Get ma. There's definitely really lethal. Dick if you do What? It looks like lethal then if he's doing. Really it. If he gets his head blown off, he'll like my ass. Damage. So do you do. You do. Like yeah. Damage. Yeah, this is there lethal. There we go. Oh, lethal. Re- so three, two, two, two. <laughs> so that's two reflection, three, three. Three, three. What the fuck is this? Perfect lethal. <laughs> Wait, what? what? He doesn't die here. Don't tell me he what? dies here. I'll lose Why? my mind. He has migrant. He could just Wait. migrant that. Wait, is he dead? Does he not have no. migrant? Did I fight? Am I tripping? Did he switch it the last second? I, mean, I asked you and you said he had migrant. I, I, am, I was positive he had migrant. Does he die? No, what is this card? What is this card? <laughs> you just seal the edict. What? Get out of here. Oh. Wait, does, does Crimson Himika not just win? Distance minus no. 8 minus 6? No, no, like Take minus 4 is 4. Boo. Yes. That card sucks. <laughs> it doesn't even kill 5 oh, life at gosh. range 4. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquence, let's go. What what the hey, what's the last the special game? that Peanut brought? We don't know, actually. We were just speculating it's blazing. Don't Frank, know. Like, oh, yes, replicate! We're not paying Kill attention. Him. Okay, does nothing. That actually goes back in hand. It goes back into your hand, Erlong. Man, this game's exciting. 
what the hell is this deck? Oh my okay, now I'm you move forward and, and he has to play around Crimson Himika. And... Wait, I'm so confused. Is Migrant yeah, yeah. not lethal? No, oh, no, we don't know if he had Migrant. That was the key. Advancing have migrant, two is lethal. I don't know. That's how I lost my last game. Is I didn't play Migrant. So he must not have go. Migrant. Then he must have swapped it for Kuan. We got lethal. All right. Can't here's the thing. One. If Peanut's deck is a Himika deck, he alone will die. For yeah, sure. he wins this turn. If he loses this turn, then I'm banning him. From, if he loses this game, I'm banning him from the server. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'll ban myself. <laughs> Why does that matter? Oh, okay. The only matters if he has if he doesn't have lethal, which I guess. And devious eloquence can also play into the the crimson. Um, this, this match makes me sad. Everything that is just happening is I'm just. Right. What? Special. Wait, DBS. it's eight minus the distance is X and Y. Yes, eight minus huh. four, four, four equals four. four. I wasn't sure if it was both X and Y. So eloquence. Uh, eloquence. Okay, I think he I think he screwed up his order there a little bit. Yeah, it was divine. So that goes on top. He draws his last card and eloquence again. <laughs> doesn't draw, speak then much. decide your plan. Wait, why um, did you draw the cards? No, don't draw the cards, Peanut Man. He drew the cards. Uh, his, uh, no. his cards what if he just plays Blazing and just kills himself? That'd be a fun way to die. Shoot. No, he didn't. Oh my god, I'm sad. You got to be too. What is happening? Why? Why peanut man? Uh, peanuts. We got to be too. Please remind him. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm in the wrong chat. There we go. Uh, peanut, I believed in you. Does he even have lethal now? Let me think. Reflection. Surely this is lethal now, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can get a reflection on. Well, he has to have a mortal flower. Yeah, this has to be lethal. The mortal flower. Okay, surely this is lethal, right? If it's not, then he gets his head blown off. I think. Wait. You mean, you're not Wait. Right? Never mind, I'm stupid. That's severe, he has muted. Or I'm deafened. He did not want to hear our shit. Man, this game is so exciting. It's the most exciting game of Sakura Arms I've seen in a while. Also, Eloquence needs a takedown. Yep. All right, there we go. No, Erlong, stop. Stop. You're going to give me a hard attack, Erlong. Man, I'm scared to play Peanut now. Fuck. Now, <laughs> now I, don't know. I don't know who wins. I don't know who I'd rather play at this point. If I play against Peanut, I might just get wrecked. Oh, I know anything he's gonna do. If this is two one, then Erlang might win. That goes to Aura. Oh. Also, he needs to give an Aura to Flair. He needs mm. to give an Aura to Flair. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Erlang win, right? Yeah. He needs to give. It doesn't matter, but he needs to give Aura to Flair. But again, I don't think it matters. It's alright, we won. Oh my gosh. So, plan first. Three damage to Erlang, and then... Uh, draw damage to Eternal Peanut, and then Peanut die before playing the Sun. Yeah, that's really close. 